Hey everyone, it's April here and today I have a very self-absorbed video. It is a meet the artist video. It was my birthday yesterday so I figured I would carry on the birthday spirit and make this all about me. I also thought it was a good idea because there's a few people that have uh, subscribed or joined the channel lately um, and I thought it would be nice to have like a little introduction about myself because I never really talk about myself. I just say hey and then draw stuff. So yeah, I'm just doodling in my sketchbook today to come up with the kind of uh, framework of the drawing and I have this little notebook that I take on the train with me and I kind of wrote some ideas out about myself and then I did this little doodle and I really like this one on the right here that has a little arrow going towards it so this is completely like not in a style that I've done I mean it's kind of my style but the way I draw people normally I haven't done this I just like this doodle so I just want to say first off this doesn't actually look like me that probably could be something uh, bad about a meet the artist video it doesn't actually look like me I mean I think I have the messiness of the hair right but apart from the actual proportions of this character on the screen uh yeah it's kind of like the opposite of me because she's kind of like this triangle that goes from small to like massive legs almost like you're looking up at her but in reality I probably have a larger top half of my body than bottom half so just let you know a uh, very stylized character um but yeah let's just go with it shall we because I kind of like how it turned out at the end so I decided to do this on my iPad because I haven't used Procreate for a while so I just took a little picture of my sketchbook and then I got right into it and I'm just using um, this palette that I have which is like my favorite polychromos colors for pencils and I'm using the 6B pencil so just to get those technicalities out of the way so yesterday it was my birthday and it was pretty awesome I spent the morning um, I did this like run this half marathon trail run and it was crazy hard and there were hills um, and then I had cake and then in the evening I went out and had all the Thai food in the world and it was incredible so yeah it was a pretty fun little birthday and then in the evening when I got home I finished this off because I wasn't quite done with it I did like the line art about 1000 times before I got it right but I think it looks pretty cool in the end and my iPad didn't film everything so I kind of skip over the coloring process in a little bit so yeah, my name is April. Hi, nice to meet you. Um, I also go by Monkey Mintaka online. It's like a super old name back from Deviant Art Days and I just kind of like it. It alliterates, it kind of sounds fun. So I stick with it. I live in England in Surrey, which is kind of like an hour away from London. Uh, I don't really go into London much, it's way too busy for me. I am a 3D artist, motion graphic designer, which means I spend all day on the computer uh, making stuff, animating stuff. Some of it's boring, some of it's fun. Um, and that's why I really like drawing in the evenings because it gets me off of the computer and it gets my fingers working with messy paints and stuff. So I haven't always lived in England. I was born here and then when I was a few months old, we moved to South Africa. So I lived there for a few years, then moved back to England. And then when I was 12, moved to New Zealand for 12 years, which is why I've got a little bit of an accent. Uh, some people notice it, some people don't. It's a bit of a mixture. Right, so I moved back to England a few years ago and I have been here ever since. And I like it a lot, England. It's nice, but I also love traveling. And just quickly in the background, I'm showing the like full colored process because um, I had to skip past it because my iPad didn't record. So these are the kind of colors. I actually have a cardigan this yellow, which I love. And I normally just wear grays and blacks because I'm boring like that. So I also spent a few years working in Spain, teaching English in Ireland, like doing summer camps and in America doing summer camps. So I have worked all over the world doing lots of different stuff um, but yeah, kind of settling down now, I guess, because I'm old and an adult. Um, but yeah, I would love to see more of the world. So you just see there, I wrote a whole bunch about myself, like my likes and dislikes, which I'll get to in a sec. And now I am colouring in my bag. So in the morning, I get the train to work. And then in the evenings, I actually get the train to a different station, which is three miles from my house. And I run home because it's quicker than getting a train to my town which seems silly but at least it gets my running in which is good so I take this gigantic bag like fluorescent yellow it looks doesn't go with anything it's awful and I shove a whole bunch of stuff in it so I always carry a notebook and pencils 
I did say to myself when I got the train I would draw on the train, that never happened, I'm way too tired in the morning, but I have been trying to like take notes, listen to podcasts and take notes about things, about like art and illustration and ideas and stuff, so that's pretty cool to have on hand. Then of course you need your phone, your headphones, lip balm, I always carry my keys with me even though I don't really need them, but I have like a thousand keys with uh, different keychains because I don't know why every time I see a cool keychain I just need it so my keys weigh like 500 pounds. I take my running gear, my new running watch which I got for my birthday which I haven't actually taken to work yet but I just wanted to draw it because it's so pretty. And then I'm going pretty fast here but my likes, I wrote down I like a good book, an easy run because who likes, who likes to work out right? Uh, I love animals. Uh, I love exploring, like I mentioned, traveling the world, and I love my plant family. I have 11 of them and uh, they die sometimes, but I replace them with others, it's fine. And then I write for my dislikes. Um, I hate waking up before 7. Don't like closed-mindedness. Uh, spiders. Long commutes, that's a given. And spoilers, you know, like when you haven't seen a TV show and then you just hear a group of people talking about it and you're like, no, 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 stop, 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 stop. I hate that. And then on this little picture of myself, I wrote, um, I have one eyebrow higher than the other, which I do naturally. My, I never brush my hair. I drink lots of water. I love a long cardigan. I always wear odd socks and I'm never late. I always try and be early. So that is the little picture finished. Sorry I had to rush through that so fast. I didn't realize I edited it so short, but that is a little bit about me and I hope you like the process of it. And now for my birthday surprise. I'm doing a birthday giveaway. So I thought I would buy some things that I like and just give them away to you guys. Um, so the first thing is the Ecoline brush pens, which I've been using recently in my sketchbook. They're really fun. They're like water based and you can mix them together. The next thing I found was this Caddy sketchbook. It's like this square sketchbook made with handmade paper. It looks really cool. I haven't used this one, but I do have a sketchbook from Caddy Papers and it's really nice. So this is a sketchbook I have from the same company and the paper's like handmade, so some of it's a little bit weird, a little bit rougher or smoother, but the paints go lovely on the sketchbook. The next thing I have is these Faber-Castell Polychromas colour pencils, which I love. I have like the entire set of them. I got them for a present for myself. Yeah, I like to buy presents for myself. Uh, but this is the 12 set, just to get you started. And the last thing are some watercolour paints. So these are the Ganzai Tambi watercolours. Now, I'm not giving away this gigantic set, this is my one, and you can see the colours are beautiful. I'm um, going to get the 12 set, which is still arriving from Japan. So that's going to go right here. But yeah, that is the giveaway. So if you want to get your hands on these, let me know what your best birthday present you've ever gotten is or your worst birthday present and um, I will pick the winner next week so make sure you check back next week to find out if you've won and that is all for today so nice to meet you and I will see you on the next video thanks for watching bye